All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord's with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakuraj. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakuraj. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible. And Ruel, and Shalawam, Labachorium, Wabarakim, Shaya Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashawan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And pretty much this lesson is going to be centered around how the Lord is dealing with the humble, man. You see, the meek, the humble, the lowly. You see, a.k.a. the elect. So the first precept we're going to grab is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6. It says, but he giveth, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he, wherefore he saith, the Lord resisteth the proud and giveth grace unto the humble. See, the grace period that we have right about now, the, by the Lord having us out there on the highways and hedges still making and also making these videos on the Internet. This grace period is only for the elect. You see, the two-thirds of our people, like the scripture says, they're going to misuse the prophets, okay, which means to insult, okay? While they yeah, had liberty, man, they wanted to play around, so therefore the Lord's going to delete them, okay? But this grace period, this time to get right and a time of repentance, you know, is for the elect, man. Because the Lord is not dealing with the proud. The Lord hates the, the, uh, uh, the pride, man. As a matter of fact, let's grab that right quick just to prove that point. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 6, starting at verse 16. It says, These six, these six things do of the Lord hate. See, the God of the Bible hates, man. Contrary to popular belief, con contrary to these wacky techy Christians and their bugged out doctrine. You see, these six things do of the Lord hate. The God of the Bible hates, okay? He's both sides. It says, Yea, seven, which is a complete number, are an abomination to him, which is a wicked, filthy act. Number one on the list, verse 17, a proud look. See, a proud look comes with a proud mindset, you see, which is going to come forth, which is going to bring forth wickedness. You see, so that's why the Lord put that as number one. The Lord ain't dealing with no pride, man. The scripture says pride is when one departed from his maker, man. You see, and the reason on a lying tongue. And hands that shed innocent blood, man. The Lord hates all that, man. And guess what? Two thirds of our people, they're in all that category, man. Two thirds of our people, they're all about lying, okay? They claim that they believe in the Bible, but they break down the Bible the wrong way, or they don't know the Bible. Period. It says the hands that shed innocent blood. They killed the, uh, they murdered the prophets, okay? Verse eighteen. It says in heart, which goes back to mind. That devises wicked imaginations. Devises means plans, man. Or to premeditate. Wicked imaginations, wicked ideas, wicked plots, man. You see? For an example, with this gang culture, man, they'll go and categorize and set up a way how to uh, delete, a, delete another Jake. You know? That's an abomination to the Lord, man. It says, uh, that's just with an example out of me, or when um, you meet, a, or when these Jakes meet these women, and then these women lead them back to the hotel, you know, and then all of a sudden when they get to the hotel room, uh, a whole bunch of ninjas pop out, man, and they rob the man, and they, they more than likely going to lead them too. It says, feet that is swift into, it's like a feet that is swift and running to mischief, wickedness, man. A false witness that speak of lies, and he that soweth, which means plants discord among birds, and the Lord hates all that, man. You know what I'm saying? You bring a bugged out doctrines to brothers, you know what I mean? You sowing, sowing discord, you know, trying to cause contingents and strife amongst brothers, man. Hey, man, that's an abomination to the Lord, and the Lord is going to deal with you, especially going into these scoffers and scorners, man. But back to the video, through the spirit of Yah, Bashim Back to this. That's why the Lord is dealing with the humble. This is the book of Psalms 138, verse 6. It says, Though the Lord be high, yet have he respect unto the lowly, a.k.a. the humble, a.k.a. the elect. But the proud 
he knoweth afar off. The Lord is not dealing with no pride, man. Okay? Pride brings forth destruction, man. Pride goes before destruction and the healthy spirit before fall, man. You see, because that's what this place, Babylon, and Great Witches America promotes, man. It promotes nothing but pride, man. You see? And wickedness, man. So that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place, like it says in Amos, the ninth chapter, in the eighth verse, man. The Lord only has respect unto the lowly, the meek, the proud, man. That's who the Lord is dealing with on the side, a.k.a. the elect. So now... Let's go to the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, and the 34th verse. This is the book of Proverbs 3, verse 34. This is Proverbs 3 and 34. It says, surely he scorneth the scorners, which is a scorner, a scorner is a mocker. You see, it says, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. See, mercy, man, this grace period, man. But the, the doors of salvation is still open, but it's only open up a little bit because the Lord's about to just shut this door very, very soon by taking the men of the Lord off the streets and off the internet, man. But guess what? Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to take heed to the sound of the warning and get themselves right. You know? And the one of the elect and, and, and the, the ones of the elect that's in these other groups, the Lord is going to wake them up out that madness, man, and come into the truth. You know, coming to the uh the true doctrine, the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, which we, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, starting off with our head apostles, and now the bishops, oh great millstone on down, you know, we got the 100% truth for the scriptures. This is the book of, Pro uh, not Proverbs, this is the book of Matthew 23, verse 12. It says, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Based means humble, man, or become low. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. See, the, the, see, listen, that's who the Lord is going to deal with on this side, the elect, man. The bottom of the barrel of this society, you know, is going to be the cream of the crop in the kingdom of heaven, man. And we're just hoping to be a part of that number, man. But the ones of the Hebrew Israelites, the ones that know that knows the truth, but they're teaching lies, they sold out, man. They received their consolation on this side, so therefore they're exalted. Everybody looks up to them. You see, within the Israelite uh, community, so to speak, you know. But if you, but if they throw a dirt, a whole lot of dirt on the name of GMS, and guess what? We wouldn't have it no other way, you know, because they did the same thing with Lord Yahweh Shah. So it's a blessing, man. It's, it's all good. I'm going to read this again. This is the book of Matthew 23 and 12. It says, but whosoever shall exalt himself, which is being proud, Shall be a base. Yeah, you're gonna be humble by the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see, when the Lord is bringing that judgment on you, that's when you're gonna be humble. Okay. And it says, "And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted." You see, because that's the characteristic of the elect. You know, they're not gonna to want to be a somebody in this society. They don't want a big name in this in this in this kingdom in called America, man. We want that good name in the kingdom of heaven, you know? So this is the book of 1 Peter 5, verse 5. It says, uh, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. See, listen, man, you know, <laughs> And that's one thing Jake lacks, man. You know, Jack, Jake don't want to be under the rule of the elders, man. You know, the elder apostles and the elder bishops are great men stone down because the, the, the Lord is dealing with those men. So whatever decree they come out with through the spirit of Papi Harbaugh, Shema Shah, it's not them speaking it. It's the Lord speaking through them, man. You see? But Jake got a problem with that. And it says, bleak clothed with humility. because that's a, that's a trait of being humble. You see, any order that goes out, you know, you just uh, do it, man, because it's coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it reads on, for the Lord resisteth the proud and giveth grace unto the humble. As a matter of fact, let's go into this word resist. Let's go into this word resist right quick. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, let's see. It goes back to oppose oneself to resist 
you see, to oppose. Yeah, so the Lord is not dealing with that. You are an enemy of the Lord if, you know, you're exalting yourself. I mean, if you're being prideful, the Lord is not dealing with that. You're an enemy of the Lord, man. To be in opposition, you know what I'm saying, means to be against somebody, you know? So now, let's see. Let's grab uh, Matthew. Let's see. Matthew 11. Let's see. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 25. It says, And at that time, Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ, answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things, which is what? Referring to the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible. They're it hid, man. Okay? The, they, the majority of our people can't get it. There is he, you is he thou has hid these things from the wise and prudent. Yeah, the the um the the, the, the college graduates, you know, the one that got all these degrees, they go to these uh theologian cemeteries, man. You see, the Lord, they ain't got the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible. But let's see who he revealed them to. It says that thou has revealed them, manifest them unto babes, yeah, the humble, the little ones, the meek, the elect. Which we're hoping to be, man. You know? That's why we call ourselves the hopeful. Like, we say that out of humility, man. Because, you know, we will, we will be doing what the elect is doing, which is serving the Lord, you know, and breaking down the scriptures the right way. You know? So, hey, those when those edifying through the spirit, the power of your heart, by Shema Rashad, by Shema Kakodash, Lord's will, till next time I say, Shalom.